Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm still reading out of the book called Hope. And now we're gonna talk about a father's joy. Luke 15, 20 and 24. He returned home to his father and while he was still a long distance away, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. This son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. I love this one. Um, I would feel this about my kids too. I don't care what they've done. If I saw them on the horizon coming home and I hadn't seen them, I would be just as excited. You know, that's how God feels about us. Many of the people of Jesus' day had misconceptions of what God was like based on the distortions promoted by harsh religious leaders. So Jesus used parables to draw a picture of God for them. He used the story of a father and his prodigal son to show them, and you and me as well, how God feels about rebellious, mistaken-ridden, broken people, people who want to come home. By asking for his inheritance before his father's death, the son in the story basically expressed his utter disregard for his father, almost as if he said, I wish you were dead, and yet the father gave him his full inheritance, which likely required that he sell off parts of his farm. And beginning on the day his son walked away, the father began waiting and longing for his return. No resentment for the rebuff, no sense of good riddance or indifference to the void his son left behind. Just looking, longing, loving. Finally, when the son came to the end of his resources and the end of himself, he headed home practice, practicing his speech for his father. Father, I have sinned against both you and heaven. But he had no opportunity to give the speech because his father was so eager to forgive. With each gift the father presented to his repentant returning son, he spoke acceptance, not judgment, restoration, not retribution. This parable serves as an invitation to you if you have walked away from your father's loving provision and want to come home. Our father's heart is, a ha is happy when he sees one of his own walking toward him. Won't you come home? Forgiving Father, I have been afraid of your rebuke because I know I deserve it. And yet you wait to offer me forgiveness and welcome me home. Show me your loving Father's heart so I will run towards your embrace. What do the parables in Luke 15 tell you about God? I think it tells you that no matter what you've done, this is what it tells me anyway, no matter what I've done, God is still waiting forgetting what I've done, not caring what I've done, but waiting for me to come home. And he returned me to everything that I was promised and more. God is a good father and he loves you so much. And I hope this helps somebody. I thought this was a very good um, devotion. I really enjoy it. It's just comforting to know that he's always there. I love you guys. God bless you.